okay. How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Just uh, get this game uh, going now. It's uh, It's been a long time waiting. Certainly has. And a massive game between two huge rivals to kick off your Premier League campaign. What are you expecting from Marcelo Bielsa's men in front of a packed house at Old Trafford? And secondly, what's the team news ahead yeah, of facing? Yeah, important thing is what I expect from my team. Uh, uh, the opposition you can uh, prepare for, and but for us it's about ourselves. We've had a pre-season, uh, a good pre-season. The last couple of weeks have been really good with everyone back in. And uh, even though we've... Uh, we're still missing a few players uh, through injury and COVID. We're still uh, feeling confident and ready to, for the game. So what's the team news ahead of that? Is Jaden Sancho likely to start? Jaden is going to be involved, uh, definitely. He's had a good week. Uh, unfortunately, he was ill uh, after his, uh, his holiday and uh, we've uh, lost out on a few, uh, few days of training with him. But he's uh, gelled really well in the, in the group. And he's uh, looked sharper than uh, expected almost, so um, he'll be involved. Can't tell you if he's going to start or not, though. Simon Peach. Oh. Hi, hi, hi Ollie. Um, what's the latest with Rafael Varane? Is the deal complete and is he available for the Leeds game? He's not trained with us and uh, all the, uh, the uh, dots over the eyes and the you haven't crossed the T's yet. It's, it's always things happen and things take time. Uh, and unfortunately, you know, with the isolation and uh, that uh, delayed these things, uh, it's not 100% uh, done yet. So I can't say if he's going to be, or I can't say that he will be involved tomorrow. I can probably say that he, he won't be because he's, he's not trained with us. What has the hold up been in the end with him? and? There isn't any doubt that this move will go through, is there? It always happens that you uh, there's little things, and uh, but the the big hold that was the is the isolation and the quarantine, of course. Uh, he's been in Manchester now, so uh, it's uh, he'll he'll hopefully uh, it'll be done soon. Michael Gray. Hi, Ollie. Hi. Welcome back. Uh, Oli, uh, you were runner-up in Europa League last season and runner-up in the Premier League. What's it going to take to get to that next level this season? It's always a big season for Manchester United. You obviously feel the pressure. Well, it's always pressure before every season. You know that, Michael. <laughs> you, you, but the, the thing is that you've, uh, when you finish with uh, with pre-season, you just, uh, that's now one chunk of work is gone. We have to uh, get a good start, of course. We have, we have expectations ourselves. Uh, this club is about uh, trophies. It's about uh, good football. And my expectations are that we keep developing, keep developing our style and play good football. You, you never know with results in football, but um, hopefully when we get to uh, March, April, May, we're, we're there and thereabouts because the team looks hungry uh, it's we've done good business so i feel confident going into the season then again first couple of games are always an unknown uh, as you say it's a rivalry between leeds and man united uh, it's a one off game when you play against marcelo's teams anyway because it's uh, it's uh, he's got a unique style and uh, i can't wait to get going